So hello everyone, in this video I'll be telling you how you can create a real-time search. A real-time search is like when you type and it gives you the result on the go. So you don't have to click on any button for search. It just search from a list or from an array and gives you the result quickly without any clicking of a button. When you type, it just search that. So this is called real-time search and we'll be doing that in this video. For getting a fake data, I have I'm using this one JSON placeholder API. You can also use any data you want. I'll be using this data, and you can also use JSON placeholder as well for testing. So in here you will get the API information when you go into the guide. So you will see a lot of information is there, but we need this one which is listing all the resources we want all the posts so that's why i'll be using this so actually i have used it and created a component inside that just i need to render it so actually i'm using in use effect and i'm getting all the posts and storing it after converting it to a json i'm storing it inside the state which is set uh, this all all posts i'm setting it by this method which is set all posts I just need to render it uh, so let's see the console if we are getting the data or not so I can see the console this is just an API call you can also do that after rendering I'll be performing the real-time search you can see that uh, it is giving us the hundred list or hundred amount of data that we can also uh, render but I'll not be rendering all the hundreds I'll just be rendering only 10 so I can render this all post array inside that I can grab item and index I can render if index is less than 10 which means it will render only the 10 items or 10 posts so I'll return a div inside that I'll be just writing the post name item dot title so the title will be the field will be a rendering inside the div so th that is actually I'm doing we can also uh, add it into a heading for a heading 3 that will be also good it will give you the large amount so this is it let's just do this and also after that just add a return if nothing happens then we'll be returning null yeah this is it let me see one more time and if you see so you can see that it is logging out the 10 posts I can also give it a key because key is very necessary if you want to uh, render in a map because key defines the individual items or uniquely identifies that so let's just add an index as a key that will be good and now the errors will be gone in the console you can see that no error let's just make use of this search uh, when I type only those items which are matching with my search query that should only render or that should be classified so how can we do that for that I'll be using an on change handler in this on change and I can use a handler which is handle search or anything you can write I'm using handle search and inside that I can pass the query with this event object I can use e dot target dot value so whatever we'll be typing into the field that will be uh, gone in this function so let's grab it handle search 
I can write it as query. So in here, uh, we actually need to add a variable which is filtered ARR or filtered array. In this, we'll be filtering out all those items which matches with uh, with this query or whatever we'll be typing inside the field. It will match to that. So that uh, after filtering out all the data will be stored inside this variable. So I'll be filtering from the all posts. So I'll be writing all posts here all post dot filter filter is a method that we use for filtering out the items whenever the certain condition matches so inside that i can write it post so i can grab it like this yeah i can add a condition now that if post title matches with the query then we should return this so I can do this by adding like this post dot title dot to lowercase, which means uh, casing doesn't matter here. Dot match, and I can write query dot to lowercase or whatever we are writing that we can make into lowercase so without casing if i write in capital in the search that will also be searched let's just log out in console that what we got from filtered items when i type anything inside that so let's do that so if i save this and i think let's see the console now If I just see the console, nothing is there, but let me just write something. For example, QUI, we can see that uh, it is rendering out 33 posts is rendered. So why 33? Because uh, it was originally it was 100. Now it is rendering only 33. So there is one problem. I have to set a limit, I think so that i can do from this okay so it should have a limit query also no it doesn't have any query maybe it should have basically uh we had some limit kind of thing so i'm rendering uh, i'm rendering only 10 i can also render all the hundreds and only those will be rendered uh, which are matching with this query so that for that i'll be creating one more state variable which is filtered items so i can write filtered arr set filtered arr or filtered post will be the good one so I can use filtered post and inside that I can also use filtered post so it is actually filtering out the things but I am rendering only the 10 items that's why I cannot get that from the API I cannot get the only 10 items it has some limit kind of thing but I'm not getting it in from the guide so let's just render all the hundreds and see what happens now so we can set this filtered post in the search where we actually uh, filtered all the posts here i can s filter them so i can write filtered arr that's it and in here i have to make a check that if filtered filtered post is there or filter post dot length is greater than zero if the filtered post length is greater than zero which means filtered post is there then we'll be doing this one this which is here this one or oh, not from here One more time, I have to write this. So I'll be filtering out 
I think it is post and then I can map post so basically I'm checking if the length of the filtered post or filtered array is greater than zero which means it ha it has some items so we'll render only the filtered post array like the other one but if it is not having the length which means length greater than zero which means it isn't having any items so we'll be rendering all the posts we can uh, remove the index because I want to render all the things otherwise it will only render ten, uh, less than 10 items you can also uh, render only 10 items if you want so let's just remove it and save it so all the 100 posts will be there and if I type with any name so that will be actually filtered out So let's just see that so you can see that all the posts are there but if I type any name so they will be filter out EST so you can see that it is filtering out all the items which matches with the query which I'm writing so this is actually a real-time search that we have performed I hope you understood something and if you have any issue or if you have any problem so you can comment down so i'll be solving that let's meet in the another one thank you for watching this video